welcome back uh, and welcome to everybody that is new to those of you that are new my name is Ali um I am currently on maternity leave at this moment in time little Baba is downstairs with my mum she's babysitting him for the day and so um I'm upstairs getting some stuff sorted finally so much needed stuff that I needed to get done um so that's really cool um so he's not on camera this week say hi but next week I'll have him back to say hi to you all um any news for you guys anything i need to tell you <sighs> okay let's think so april and may reading days are fully booked i've got my first kit no my second kit day on friday which is my april day then may is fully booked i have spaces for june so if you do want to read in whilst i'm on maternity leave um june I'm taking bookings for that. The spaces are super, super limited. Like I said, I can only work one day a month. Um, left in June, June, left in July, and then after that, I'm back uh, full time to reading. So you don't have to worry so much after that. There'll still be a turnaround time on readings, but it's not gonna be um, as quite delayed um, as it is at the moment. So I have a few spaces left for June. They are booking up, so if you wanna read it, give me a shout. Um, hunter this week not much has really happened everything's been on easter so everything's been like shut down there's been no classes there's been no activities um i took him up to the ancient neolithic tomb the other day um i'll put a picture so you can see so we have i live on the kind of verge of the peak district and there is a neolithic tomb around here which is dates back to stonehenge time um so we went and visited that which was really nice took poppy as well so did that um very beautiful place for him to go he's very very happy he really enjoyed it really enjoyed the energies there um it's a burial ground for the old druids um and it's split into two halves so the front half is where um, they buried the treasures and the back half is where the ancient druid masters were buried and it had a lid, a lid, had a roof on top of it and it had a stone circle going all the way around it. But as, you know, people came into England, they took a lot of that down and they used it to build roads and things and this is what is left of it. Um, so it's pretty cool, I do love it. Um, and we went and visited that. Uh, what else happened this week? Um, he is still learning to roll on his tummy he's sitting up more um but other than that he's just progressing really just progressing sleep's been a lot better um but yeah we're doing good that is it that is my update for for the week so um next week he'll be back on camera i'll get him to, to show you so you can see him um if you need me give me a shout i will be back uh next week yeah and if you want a reading for June, let me know because space is limited. And as I said, I'm going away to Glastonbury for a few days. Um, I've also got a festival uh, around the corner from where I live at the end of May. Witch Fest. Um, so it's not far from where I live. So I'm going to that as well. So yeah, give me a shout if you need me. Love you all to pieces. Speak to you next week. Uh, be blessed. Stay safe. Um, and all my blessings. Goddess blessings your way. Ciao, Bellas. Hello beauties and welcome back. I hope that you were all okay and that you had a totally blessed week. Um, so this week we're doing Do They Ever Think Of You? Do they ever think of you? And we have two decks to pick from. So we have deck number one and deck number two. Go to the deck you are most drawn to, think about your person, uh, go to that deck. Do they ever think of you? So I'm working for you a couple of requests that people have said on YouTube. If you've got any requests, write them in the comments, hit subscribe, all that, yada, yada, yada. Number one, number two, pick your deck. Let's go. So as always, it works on the strongest mutual energy between you. Oh, regardless of your individual circumstances, how we worked out, you know, at school when they said work out the average of all these numbers, like everyone that hates maths. Um, we did that and it, it's how it works with your energetic frequencies. So think about your person for me. Can we get into their person's thoughts, feelings, energy, emotions, and thought processes? And let's do all possibilities, probabilities, choices, chances, and changes of your person. So let's have a look. Do they ever think of you? Do they ever think of you? So my guide is saying to pick five cards from this. And as I'm going into the energy of both of you, I'm getting Cruel Summer by Taylor Swift song lyric coming up there and um, being clairaudience for it give me a lot of songs 
and that one uh, is really coming forward in your energy um, and it's a mixed energy so when I'm saying to spirit I have multiple conversations at the time with you guys and with them is it for you watching or is it for your person on whether they think about you um, they're saying it's multiple okay so it's half you and it's half them um, and I'm not a big person that knows all the lyrics of it but it definitely says something about um trying to find a part of me that you didn't touch trying to find a part of me you didn't take up something along those lines if you haven't listened to it and you can actually stand taylor swift go and have a listen um so straight off the bat with that song coming into your energy there is this thought process on it all my barber's having a bit of a moan do they ever think of you he's falling asleep so he's like i'm going to make noises and I'm actually going to pull, Spirit said five, but I'm going to pull an outcome on this for you, okay? So let's we'll just get three for the outcome, where it's going to go next for you both. Not like that. That's, that's called a hand slip. A tarot hand slip. Exactly, Hunter. One, two. Three. Okay. So all being said, it's heading in the right direction, okay? No matter what your situation is, no matter where you are with your person, regardless of if you're in contact, if they said they never want to speak to you again, if they've just distanced themselves, vanished into the total abyss of the, of the universe, um, they are still thinking of you. They are still thinking of you. And when we're looking at the future energy of both of you, you're heading towards these new beginnings. Now, Spirit is saying, as we're going into that energy of heading towards these new beginnings, it's going to come down to you guys on if you want this to be with this person. So you guys watching have got the opportunity to move on, move forward and decide whether this person is someone that you want to be with. It's important because your person will make these moves towards you, give you everything that you want. And suddenly you're going to think, actually, is this what I want anymore? Do I do I want this connection? And you can't see that now, but going into the future energy, you will. So we have this new beginnings energy coming up over here. Your Ace of Cups, your Ace of Pentacles, new beginnings focusing on love, new beginnings focusing on stability, security, family. So when we're looking at where it's going into the outcome, you've got this here, that you have this choice. Um, you might decide that you want to go it alone. The cards before, Judgment, Nine of Pentacles. You might decide that you want to go it alone, but you have got the choice and it's going to come down to you guys watching. It's not up to your person. And you're like, oh my God, they're in control of the situation at the moment. Maybe at the moment, but it's not going to last, okay? There is this coming back, this um, resurrection. Spirit is saying resurrection of the relationship. I just saw a really bright white light, Spirit coming forward then. Resurrection of the relationship between the two of you. So looking at whether they think of you right now, going back to the question in hand, the answer is yes, they do. You've got that cruel summer song coming up to begin with. The two more negative cards that let's going to have a little bit of a dive into, we've got the Eight of Swords and we've got the Five of Cups. So your person is feeling a little bit trapped by their emotions at the moment. They're feeling a little bit stuck with the situation. Um, it's actually been a bit of an upheaval for them, okay? The situation and how it's unfurled between you guys has been an upheaval and they haven't really known how to handle it. So this is why perhaps you're gonna be feeling like it's a bit stuck and it's a bit stagnant and nothing's really going on. Um, it's affected your confidence, you guys watching, it's affected your confidence a little bit from their actions and how they've treated you. Um, they only really see things, they can be a little bit blinkered as all the human race can um, on just saw a few beautiful bird flying over over there. It's a bird of prey. It's it's uh, hovering. I love this window. Um, <laughs> distraction. So you've got this energy coming forward here that you know it's affected your confidence, um, and they haven't really known how to handle the situation. They took it as a bit of an upheaval of the connection. They've been feeling fed up over it. They've been feeling that perhaps they've done the wrong thing, making the wrong choices, but at the moment they're just staying stagnant in that energy and thinking, no, you know what, I'm not gonna um, lick my wounds. I'm not gonna come with some kind of peace offering. I'm just gonna stay in this energy, but it won't last because over here, we have your Knight of Cups, your person coming towards you with a big focus on their emotions. Lots of emotional energy coming up in these cards. Spirit is saying to me that they are hurting too. So you might not believe that, 
but they are <laughs> it's what spirit is saying they're saying your person is hurting too they are suffering from the situation as well it's just that at the moment they're kind of brushing it to the side but there is definitely this thoughts on you and there's this movement coming in um seven of pentacles queen of wands dangling over here your energy going over to you again with the seven of pentacles looking at the thought process on whether they're thinking of you this is showing that they are trying to think it all through in the head but not quite coming up with the answers yet and it's to do with you it is to do with you and um, very strong power energy very strong sexual energy between the both of you they're just not coming up with solutions to it at the moment but with the overall question of do they ever think of you the answer is yes they do um quite a lot quite a lot but they're just being stubborn in that energy at the moment they're just not making any choices and decisions on it they're just holding fire but you have the resurrection coming in so moving forward over here um making a choice on it all your choice to make as well and um, so when they do come towards you and they do speak to you and they do say Oh, let's see where this goes. Let's see what happens. Let's 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 go and have a party. Let's do this thing. So it's going to come down to you, guys, if that's what you want. Future over here, very possible for you both. Um, it's up to you whether it's something that you want to partake in by the time it gets to this. Timing wise, let's get a mutual timing on you. Spirit is saying your timing collectively. A collective timing is two to three months. If you want to look at individual timings, you can give me a shout um, and we can have a look at that in personal readings for you. Working one day a month, I know it's not much, um, up until August, just as I am on maternity leave at the moment. So if you're interested, we can put deposits down for you to get your reading uh, this month. Okay, guys, uh, love you loads. Deck number one, and I'll speak to you soon. Blessings okay guys deck number two do they ever think of you so if you're wondering why i've had an outfit change why um it looks a bit different um i went to upload this to youtube and i realized that there was no sound on deck two so we are doing deck two again so do they ever think of you we're going into their energy think about your person for me their thoughts feelings energy emotions and thought processes so how we work it works on the mutualist mutualist energy between you all and um, regardless of your individual circumstances and situation it pulls out the strong energy okay let's go do they ever think of you do they ever think of you let's see what spirits say see what cards say see what comes up oh now i like that so let me just show you this before i pull the remaining cards of this reading Okay, so we have the Queen of Pentacles coming up over here. This is your energy. Now, on this channel, we're never sexually orientated or gender specific, but cards will always work with queens and kings, just like regular playing cards. So this here is simulating your energy. You are the Queen of Pentacles. You are the, the family woman. You are the stable woman. You are the nurturing woman. Um, and this is how they're seeing you. So they are thinking of you in a very kind of... Um, loving, kind, caring, beautiful queen energy. And what I like about this is that when we're asking, do they ever think of you? Not only do they see you in this way, but you have these arrows shooting towards her. Now, I don't know how many of you do read tarot, but the arrows um, will always signify, signify the eight of wands. And the eight of wands symbolizes movement. So right off the bat, from this card, the answer is yes. <laughs> so if you wanted to stop the reading, you can stop it now. And um, you've got this movement coming forward movement of seeing you in this maternal light okay um so yes they do see you they do think of you do they ever think of you yes they do and also with this card you know you've got the the castle in the background and as we all know castles are where dreams come true castles are where kings and queens find their princes and their marry and princess land and all the stuff we were raised to to love as kids um so yeah you have got this potential for the two of you to have a future straight off the bat and yeah they do think of you so let's see what else comes up do they ever think of the wait those watching three four let's get one more five okay so some of you guys your circumstances might be a little bit more difficult 
with your person. So circumstances being uh, things that could potentially be holding this situation back. And the reason why I'm saying that is because we have justice over here. So it could be third parties, potentially. You would know about that if it is. You could be that they've got troubled pasts, um, things that are kind of going on around them. It could be family issues, anything um, which is circumstantial, which could be stopping this energy moving forward towards you. Now, that doesn't mean that they don't think about you. It means that they are just focusing on their present circumstances at this point in time, okay? So, other cards that are kind of going on with this, you've got the Four of Cups, Page of Cups, and the Lovers, okay? So, they do see a future with you. They do see um, that the two of you can work together. The pages are always messages, okay? So, you've got a message of love, coming towards you and we also see that with the queen of pentacles over here two cards of movement coming in um so automatically when we're saying do they ever think of you or do you have the yes right here okay debating messaging you debating communicating with you you also have the fish on here so in druidry um i don't know how many of you have said this to before but in druidry we talk about the salmon and this salmon is a symbol of rebirth and it's also a symbol of knowledge and wisdom. So with these cards up over here, you've got a rebirth of the connection, movement of the connection um, and wisdom gained from the situation between you both. Very strong energy, very strong emotions going on here. Um, where you two have been, again, circumstances potentially dictating why you are where you are, why you're thinking, well, actually, do they, do they care about me? Do they ever think of me? Um, your person can be very orientated on what is going on in their own life at that point in time. Um, sometimes they can be a little bit selfish um, and think about only about themselves rather than think about you and what you could potentially be going through. Sometimes they look at the heavier energies, they look at what they're going through and they're missing what you can give them on the side. And I like this over here because whilst they are focusing on this negative energy, these three cups over here thinking, well, you know, this is what I want. This is what I want to be with. You are here holding your cup. And this cup comes in from the page and we can see the page passing the cup over here and saying, you know, what's going on? What's happening? This cup is in the back of their mind and you can see it's right next to them, okay? It's in a future energy, forward facing, okay? It's in a future energy. So whilst they are focusing on the current circumstance, you are at the back of their mind and they are thinking things through and thinking, I need to reach out, I need to message, I wanna to speak to them, um, I wanna communicate. So yeah, that's neat. Uh, lovers over here with three people on it. Again, circumstances could be that this is a third party situation. Like I said, if you don't know about it, that's because I'm not talking to you. Um, for those of you that aren't involved in third parties, this would just be general karmic energies, karmic situations happening. Perhaps some people are going through legal battles as well. Again, things from the past uh, reoccurring. Um, but you have this lovers card. You have the love between the two of you. You have the bond holding you two together. Very strong connection, very strong emotions. Um, and with this, what Spirit has shown me is a hand fasting. So even if you two aren't in communication and it's all gone a little bit peak tongue and it's not quite working out at this moment in time, they can see the potential of you. They can see a future of you and they do think of you. They do, they do think of you. And they think about you more than you probably realise. And they think about you in terms of this is the person that I can see a future with. This is the person that I would like to be with. But I'm just a bit stuck at the moment because of circumstances. Spirit said with that, it could equally be your choices and your circumstances. Perhaps they aren't quite working out in the in the favour of your person and what they want. Um, and it could just be putting a bit of a block on it. Now, the good news is it looks like the block is going to be resolved. My mate came over the other day, she was like, I love this view. I was like, I know, it's fab, isn't it? <laughs> it's just a little bit of time. Sorry, I've got distracted by the view, as always. Um, a little bit of time, a little bit of progression routes, um, letting it, f sorry, a little bit of time will show the progression routes. Um, and with the Empress over here, this is birth, rebirth, the connection moving forward. Okay. Uh, giving birth to dreams because perhaps physical pregnancy going on with some of you guys and um, teamwork working as a team getting this 
stuff sorted so where it's been stagnant where nothing has been happening with the two of swords over here that is going to be shifting as your person makes these moves towards you so yeah it's resolvable it's going to be moving it's going to be shifting and it's going to be happening in the not too distant future i.e anytime around now and that's step number two. So I'm sorry it's on a different day and I've had to recap <laughs> and redo. Um, but I love you all to pieces. I will see you next week. And many, 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 many blessings your way, my loves. Adios. <laughs>